All right, everybody, welcome to uh, part number three of our socially distant tour. I'm Dustin Owens, lead singer and songwriter of the Woolly Boogers. That sun wasn't out when I set this whole setup up, but uh, I'm not going to switch it now because I'm running out of daylight. Um, appreciate you guys joining me once again as uh, we play some tunes from quarantine here at my house. Uh, this time we're in the backyard. Uh, you see the kids play set here behind me. And uh, honestly, probably one of the best purchases I've ever made. Lucy's idea. Uh, playgrounds right now are a bad idea. So um, we're staying here around the house. And uh, it's great to have a spot for the kids to come and play. So we're going to kick things off here uh, with a tune from John Prine. And uh, a lot of these tunes kind of have an outdoor theme. We'll talk more about that uh, in a few moments, but uh, this one's no exception. This one's called Paradise. When I was a child, my family would travel down to western Kentucky where my parents were born to a backwards old town so often remembered so many times that my memories are born sometimes we'd travel on down the green river to an old abandoned prison up by Erie Hill where the air smelled like snakes and we'd shoot with our pistols and empty pop bottles is all that we killed and daddy won't you take me back to Muhlenberg County down by the green river where paradise lay well I'm sorry my son but you're too late in asking Mr. Peabody's coal train is hauled it away. Well, the old companies came with the world's largest shovel, knocked down the timber, and they stripped mine the land. And they tore up the earth till it all was forsaken And wrote it all down as the progress of man Daddy, won't you take me back to Muhlenberg County Down by the Green River where paradise lay Well, I'm sorry, my son, but you're too late in asking Mr. Peabody's cold train has hauled it away. When I died, let my ashes flow down the green river Let my soul roll on up to the Rochester Dam Well, I'll be halfway to heaven with paradise waiting Not five miles away from wherever I am Daddy, won't you take me back to Muhlenberg County Down by the green river where paradise lay well, I'm sorry, my son, but you're too late in asking. Mr. Peabody's coal train has hauled it away. Mr. Peabody's coal train has hauled it away. All right, that was Paradise by the great John Prine. And, uh, backyards kind of like paradise at least to me um, I'll take sacrifices on the quality of the house to get a nicer yard and uh, try to spend as much time out here as possible as I can with the kids I love being outside and uh, with the, the coronavirus and everything that's going on I can't help but think it's just like this 
um, perfect metaphor of nature versus humanity and us doing everything within our power to, to, to fight off you know what's coming at us um, it kind of really makes you wonder about our relationship to the earth I don't know everything kind of does <coughs> dry cough I assure you it's allergies here in uh, the upstate of South Carolina <coughs> it is allergy season you see the flowers blooming uh, but man what a beautiful day and what a great time to be outside in this beautiful weather um, hope you're not spending all your time cooped up in the house uh, even though I do appreciate you watching these uh, these videos all right next song we're gonna play here for you is a special one to me it's a song I wrote it's called scum bucket um, there's never been a song that um, gotten in more trouble for playing live and uh, I dropped some curse words so if you got kids around or you're sensitive to such things you might want to skip forward about I don't know four and a half minutes um, but it was inspired by my mom and my grandpa was a marine and uh, he had a uh, uh, quite a way with language and I think my mom picked a lot of that up from him and she does too and uh, I don't know I try to be truthful when I write a song and sometimes it turns out corny or cheesy or whatever the case may be but um, you know, there's nothing more that you can do than, than be honest. And so anyway, I, I concocted this story. It's a made up story, obviously. Um, and you'll hear that as we get into the tune. But anyway, sort of the, the disposition of the, the main character, uh, Alma. Um, I don't know, I can't help but look up to her and admire her and feel like her song needs to be sung. So I always try to play this and then uh, end up getting a lot, of, a lot of grief for it. But anyway, so once again, uh, parental advisory and whatnot. This one's called Scum Bucket. Alma Blake's daddy taught her how to cuss and spit. The whole world's full of shit, little girl, don't step in. Taught her how to read and write and fight and sing. Don't forget, little girl, I'm the only man you need daddy never worried when the boys came to court if they ever got fresh you kicked their ass out the door a slap to the face was to her more than kind she'd make them blush if they stepped out of line i won't be your scum bucket I won't be your mixing bowl If that's all you want then fuck it I don't need a man to make me whole Solomon Blake gave Alma a job at the haberdashery Taught her the tricks of the trade from a place beneath his wing. Fell in love and she allowed him into her bed. Together they made the dress that she wore when they were wed. Bought a big old house and filled it up with kids. Till Saul started drinking, getting loose with his fist. So Alma tucked a 32 under his chin. She said, I'll fill you full of holes if you come back here again. I won't be your scum buck. And I won't be your mixing bowl. If that's all you want, then fuck it. I don't need a man. Make me whole Alma sold everything And she bought herself a farm Cotton and hemp and sheep For soap and clothes and yarn 
raised her kids on her own and she taught them her trade dirt neath her nails and the sweat on her brow a new life was made she told all them kids to put their hands in the dirt all you need to survive is your mother earth if you treat her unkind there will be hell to pay put your ear to the ground you can hear her say I won't be your scum bucket, and I won't be your mixing bowl. If that's all you want, then fuck it. I don't need a man to make me whole. I don't need man to make me whole. All right, that one's called Scum Bucket. You know, that's a song talking about parental advisory. That's a song with, um, you know, with my little girl, Amy Lou, that, you know, I happily play for her on a regular basis, and she giggles at the curse words, and when it comes to curse words, I try to explain that words are words. It's the intentions that are behind them that really matter. It's what you're really pushing out there. It's just, there's no such thing as a bad word. It's not a thing to be, you know, feared, the word in and of itself. And you have to know where you are, and... You know, you have to use words the right way and in context with the people that are around you. I mean, that's what's important is knowing your audience and knowing who you're talking to and being respectful of them. But the word itself is not bad and can be used in powerful ways. Just look at hip-hop and the, the history of hip-hop. I mean, it's, it's absolutely incredible. Um, the power and emotion that comes from that music. And also, how filthy so many people consider the language. Uh, but once again, if you're telling the truth, then hopefully that hopefully that comes through. All right, we'll play another song here. Um, this is by a band that I like a whole bunch of, uh, The Handsome Family. It's called My Sister's Tiny Hands. <laughs> Legs wrapped around each other Cheek to cheek with my sister We were born like tangled minds And we lived out on the river Where the dark clouds never linger and the sunshine poured like honey through my sister's tiny hands We were picking sour apples In the wild waving grasses When she stumbled in the briar and was bitten by a snake Every creature casts a shadow in the sun's golden fingers And the sun sets through the waving grass and some shadows are dragged along Bottles of cheap whiskey And I stumbled through the backwoods Killing snakes with a sharpened stick Oh, but 
but still I heard her laughing in the wild waving grasses how the tiny hands would play by the river's sparkling shore So I took my rusty gas can and an old iron shovel and I set the woods ablaze and choked the river up with stone. Every creature casts a shadow in the sun's golden finger and the sun sets through the waving grass and some shadows are dragged along That's my sister's tiny hands by the handsome family. That uh Andrew Bird Andrew Bird has a fantastic record called Things Are Really Strange Here, sort of, I think is what it's called. And uh it's a collection of handsome family covers. And I love the handsome family and I love their records. And I love Andrew Bird and I love his records. But that album is so special to me. Uh, because of that collaboration. I think they're they're friends. They're kind of from the same area um, Somewhere around Chicago if I'm not mistaken. I may be off but check out both of those bands for sure All right, I'll do you another one of mine. This one's called Hanging Jeremiah into the town by the collar of his shirt and the hair on his head. News had spread, formed a crowd at the jail. Sheriff Robert stumbled out the door and he nodded to the mass through the stench of his breath. Shall we see more death beneath this sun? Then William McCrager stepped before the congregation with a rope their attention in his hand he took off his hat wiped it down on the ground and at the top of his voice he wailed hang him hang him we all know what he's done hang him hang him you know he killed my son torn hands and put his good one on the butt of his gun things are done a certain way in this town a crager cried he killed my son heard his threats on the street last night he even plots for silas wife abigail then a rustle scatter through the ranks as Josiah King approached the stage A man of age, but sturdy and revered My condolences for the loss of your son But your grief has left your judgment blind But Crager cried, you old fool Let's let the crowd decide They said hang him, hang him we all know what he's done Hang him, hang him You know he killed my Crager's son
Josiah King tapped his cane on the stage. A hush fell on the irreverent crowd. His tone was proud, trembling with restraint. Every person gathered here today has known Jeremiah since the day he was born. The town was formed with rules we all agreed on. Yet you call for this boy's blood when not even a drop is on his hands. This stands against all that we believe in. But if this is what we've all become, then all we've built is now destroyed. Spring up the boy, the air's not fit for breathing. And hang it. Trials begun Hanging Hanging Hang me when you're done Hanging 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 Alright, I had to throw one of those dark apocalyptic tunes in there. I'm going to end with one. Uh, it's a cover song from one of my absolute favorite bands. One of the bands that, uh, you know, really made me love music. I can, remember in, I can remember in high school, I had all of these different records in a CD collection. Hank Williams Jr. and Metallica and uh, Dr. Dre's Chronic. and A uh, wide variety of anything that anybody had ever told me to listen to um and I didn't really like it I just had music in the car right like I never it was just a thing that people were supposed to do but then um uh, all of my cds were stolen and I got into my stepdad's cd case and I got Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon, Wish You Were Here and Skeletons from the Closet by the Grateful Dead and those were the only three cds that I listened to for months on end and I fell in love getting lost in the middle of the night driving down the road in the summer with the windows down and shine on you crazy diamond blasting through the speakers and uh, the country connections of the Grateful Dead was a big part of it too because that was something that was relatable country and folk and bluegrass and blues and those were sounds that were so familiar but kind of put through this filter and um also jerry garcia and robert hunter specifically in their songwriting so anyway um i'm gonna do one of their tunes this is called brown eyed women <laughs> Gone are the days when the ox fall down Pick up the yoke and plow the fields around Gone are the days when the lady said please Gentle Jack Jones, won't you come to me? sound of the thunder with the rain pouring down and it looks like the old man is getting on nineteen twenty when you step to the bar drink from the dregs of Nineteen thirty when the walls caved in made his way selling red eyed gin brown eyed women in red grenadine the bottle was dusty but the liquor was clean and the sound of the thunder with the rain pouring down like the old man is getting on Delilah Jones was the mother of twins Two times over and the rest was sin 
Raised eight boys, only I turned back Didn't get the lickings that the other ones had But the liquor was clean And the sound of the thunder When the rain's pouring down And it looks like the old man Is getting on Tumble down shack in Bigfoot County Snowed so hard that the roof cave in Delilah Jones had to meet her God And the old man never was the same again Daddy made whiskey and he made it well Cost two dollars and it burned like hell I cut hickory just to fire the still Drink down a bottle and you're ready to kill Brown-eyed women in red grenadine The bottle but the liquor was clean And the sound of the thunder With the rain pouring down And it looked like the old man Is getting on All right, that was Brown Eyed Women. And uh, I hope you guys are enjoying the fact that I'm just cutting this live and uh, it's going up warts and all. And uh, this is just what it sounds like when I'm sitting around the house playing. So uh, what you gonna do? Uh, birds are chirping, I can smell the barbecue next door and uh, I am absolutely starving. So I'm gonna head inside. I uh, hope you guys have a good night. We'll probably do more of these. I know I got at least one more in the bank and uh, we'll keep going as long as this thing keeps going, but hopefully. Uh, we'll be through it pretty soon. So thanks again for listening. Uh, best of luck, everybody. I'm Dustin Owens from the Woolly Boogers, and this has been the Socially Distant Tour, Part 3.